Hi everybody, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. If you look in the back, that is my, where's my arm? That's my little girl Roxy. Say hi, Roxy. Say hi, baby. She, she, she's not very, uh, she's not very vocal. <laughs> Unless you start playing with her, in which case she gets very, very vocal. Anyway, um, I am currently home alone right now. So I figured, hell, why not actually do, um, a Disney Queen Skelly fun facts. <laughs> um, so as I told you guys yesterday, oh, where's my bookmark? So as I told you guys yesterday, I wasn't able to find fun facts for the three little wolves. So what I did, since you know me, when I can't find uh, fun facts for a movie, I try to find fun facts for a Disney attraction. So this attraction that I have written down is The Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, um, here at Disneyland, I know um, we have it down on Main Street um, in the Opera House, I believe. Um, you sit down in a theater and you basically watch like the um, history of Abraham Lincoln and what went on during the time that he was president. I think. <laughs> I've only ever sat down in it once because there's a scene that made me jolt straight out of my seat and I had refused to go in ever since. Um, if you don't know what scene that is, there is a scene where I think a cannon or a gunshot goes off and I think it starts like the, I think it's the Civil War that starts going on in, in the background. But I, I can't remember for the life of me, but you know, that's basically why I won't go in there anymore is because I got startled half to death. So here are some five fun facts that I found about The Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. I hope you enjoy. <clears throat> the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln was introduced at the 1964 to 1965 New York World's Fair. It was sponsored by the state of Illinois and was the first use of a human-like audio animatronic. And that audio animatronic, speaking from like personal experience, looks absolutely crazy. Like, I thought it was a real person at first until I kind of, like, squinted and looked a little closer, and my god, it is not a real person. I was in shock. All that the Imagineers had learned over the last several years of designing mechanical figures and developing audio animatronics culminated in, in, this, figure, in this figure and then carried on beyond it in the parts of the Caribbean and more. Even now, the Mr. Lincoln figure is the most advanced audio animatronic in the park. If you guys ever get a chance to go see it, I recommend doing so. Though I think right now the only thing they're doing is um, promoting the Haunted Mansion's 50th anniversary, which passed last year. So hopefully Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln comes back this year. And if so, and you live here in California, you get the chance to go to Disney. I highly recommend checking it out. Originally, Mr. Lincoln was planned to be part of the Hall of Presidents in the never-developed Liberty Street, which has since found a home in Liberty Square at Walt Disney World. In the rear lobby of the Main Street Opera House, there are 12 spirits of America statues. They were carved for the American adventure and symbolize many diverse people working together in, the, in, the, in unity to fill the hopes and dreams of our countries and pioneers. I just realized I also wrote down six fun facts, not five. Or is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. It is seven. Okay, so I wrote seven. The paintings hanging in the Opera House rear lobby were done by Sam McKim, Disney legend best known for creating the park map. Herb Ryman, Disney legend who worked with Walt on the original concept drawing of Disneyland. John DeCure Sr., three-time Academy Award winning production designer for movie classics such as The King and I, Cleopatra, and Hello Dolly, as well as a highly respected theme park set designer. John Pomeray, Disney animator who trained under Walt's nine old men and a well-respected painter of historical events. Richard Broderick, Walt Disney Imagineering concept painter. The best of Abraham Lincoln was sculpted, the best, <laughs> the bust of Abraham Lincoln was sculpted by Blaine Gibson, the same man who did the partner's statue. The model of the Capitol building that sits in the middle of the room's is three by sixteen inches by one three sixteenth of an inch by one inch to the foot. Okay, that's weird how they write write that. Wait, 
So it's, it's pronounced, okay, so the, the model of the Capitol building that sits in the middle of the rooms is 3 16th of an inch to the foot scale. Wow. <laughs> It was begun in 1932 and finished in 1935 by George Lloyd of Belleville, New Jersey. The structure is carved of cane stone from the Normandy region of France. When it opened, this attraction did not require an EA ticket. The special ticket just for this attraction declared, so young people may have better knowledge of the, ma of the man who played such an important part in American history. Walt Disney Production invites you to be their guest to attend a few great moments with Mr. Lincoln. And those are just some fun facts on the attraction Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. Now, there's another silly symphony I can't promise you guys anymore. And unfortunately, I couldn't find any fun facts on the Silly Symphony's Three Blind Musketeers. So what you're going to be getting instead is some fun facts on the Disney Gallery attraction on Main Street, USA. So be look on the lookout for that tomorrow. I will be posting it earlier than I've posted today and yesterday just because Hubby works 6 to 2.30 tomorrow. Yeah, he works 6 to 2.30 tomorrow. Oh, the poor boy is going to get, like, no sleep tonight. I mean, thankfully, he can sleep in for Monday. But anyways, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to be getting up or uh, I'm going to be getting the video, guy, the video out to you guys earlier than I usually do just because of what time Hubby is coming home. Um, same thing for Monday. Tuesday, though, I'm actually going to have him star in a video with me, giving you guys fun facts. We're just going to go back and forth between reading the different bullet points, and hopefully he's not going to be camera shy. So you guys actually get to hear him, like, talk and just kind of be himself on camera. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. And I love my little skeletons ever so much. You guys mean the absolute world to me, even though there's only 11 of you. I hope this channel grows and grows and grows. Bye, guys. I love you so much.